from a very early age, I loved science. I mean, I loved biology. I loved chemistry. I mean, this is really, um, these were my passion areas of school. Very early on, when I was 15 years old, I remember my dad coming home just really weak. Um, I remember he couldn't even hold his keys. Uh, he walked into the kitchen uh, after a long day of work and just dropped his keys on the ground and told my mom that he couldn't do it anymore. He just he couldn't stand, he couldn't walk, he just couldn't do it. Uh, long story short, um, ended up being diagnosed with leukemia. And I'll never forget the doctor saying that it wasn't looking good, he had a 2% chance of survival, and that he needed to go home and put his things in order. My father fired that doctor on the spot because he wanted someone who wasn't going to give him statistics. He wanted someone who's gonna be his advocate, his champion, who's gonna fight for him. And that's what he did. He found a doctor who was willing to fight for him. And over 30 years ago is when he was diagnosed with leukemia. Um, and today, he's still alive. Over 30 years later, he's in remission. Um, and he's a survivor and, and he credits his doctors, his nurses, his family and God um, for getting him through that. Uh, and that's what had the biggest impact on me to become a doctor. Um, I knew during that time that I wanted to change lives and I wanted to make a difference. You know, so I love the sciences, I love the eye, I love talking about the eye, I love working with the eye, the microsurgery, the advanced skills and techniques that you have to have to do it. But what even more that I love about this job is seeing my patients the day after surgery and seeing the impact that I've had on them. Uh, to take someone who is walking around in life and doesn't, can't work, can't see their grandkids, um, can't drive, and in one afternoon to be able to change their lives forever so they can now see their grandkids, so that they can play their sports, so that they can drive, so they can work, uh, is, is just an amazing thing to, to, to see every day and to realize that I can make that difference as a doctor uh, and as a person. And it really is an honor and a privilege to take care of people and to have such an impact on people's lives. Through high school and early on in medical school, I thought I wanted to be a heart surgeon. Whereas a heart surgeon can, has a great impact and it's a great field, it takes longer to see the results uh, on what you do for patients. But in ophthalmology, you take a patient who can't see and 15, 20 minutes later, they can. Uh, and so it's, it's just magical. And then it's also just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to take a skill and to perfect it. Um, and to be the best you can be so that you can have the greatest effect uh, and create the most uh, amazing, uh, best visual outcome that you can for our patients. I remember as a, as a young uh, resident, um, freshly out of medical school, I uh, went down to Mexico uh, about five hours south of Mexico City uh, where we uh, flew down there, brought all our instrumentation, surgical microscopes, all our equipment, uh, and went to a, a church uh, in southern Mexico and essentially set up operating rooms for surgery. Uh, we couldn't do every one, but we did over a hundred surgeries uh, in just a few days. Um, it's amazing, these people would just would, would come in year after year and uh, we would do surgery on them and change their lives. You know, at this point in my career, I've been at Merida Eye Clinic for over 13 years, I've done over 15,000 eye procedures. I can remember many patients, but I can remember one particular patient. She was in her mid-80s, and on the first day after doing cataract surgery, she really cried in my arms and talked to me about these gold glasses that she had that her father gave her, which were actually made out of real gold, she told me, and how amazed she was that for the first time in her life, she no longer had to wear them. Um, and she actually gave me those glasses. So a few weeks later, she came in and brought me those glasses and said, I want you to have these. Um, 
and I, I, I'm so glad that I'll never have to use these again, but I want you to have these to remember what you did for me.